Curing cancer without chemotherapy or with only low doses of chemotherapy. Sound too good to be true? Well, a world-renowned Houston-based doctor considered a pioneer in alternative medicine claims he's doing it with a metal, dis metal discovery he made back in the 70s. But his treatment is not coming without controversy. Tonight, at look at Dr. Stanley Brzezinski, his treatment, and his clinic where patients tell us hope exists. They patted my hand and said, we're sorry, we've done everything we can, was the way they put it. You're covered with cancer. In the fall of 2009, gave me a death sentence. Breast cancer, colon cancer, pancreatic cancer patients walking into Houston's Brzezinski Clinic tell me they arrived on death's door. And they only give me a few, a few um, days to live, actually. 70-year-old Charlie Priest traveled all the way from New Zealand to see Dr. Brzezinski and talks about the day he learned he had colon cancer. I'm going there, six, six foot under. So that really scared me. Charlie refused chemo. Why he did drums up some strong feelings from his brother-in-law. It's money driven. And the doctors make money out of it, the pharmaceutical companies make money out of it, and people die. But chemo kills you. Others show up after they claim chemo failed them, but all with the same agenda, survival. And they believe Dr. Stanley Brzezinski, a pioneer in alternative cancer treatments, is the man who can give them the most hope. Somebody's trying to save your life. So what is Dr. Brzezinski doing? And why is it so different, so controversial to some? For starters, he doesn't use chemotherapy. And if he does, it is a very low dose. That's the outdated technology. Chemotherapy is now over 60 years old. Radiation therapy is 110 years old. And they are using the technology. It's like a steam engine locomotive. Instead, Brzezinski personalizes treatments that target specific affected genes and not the entire body. A discovery he made back in the 70s, after his research showed people with cancer are missing peptides in their blood. Peptides the rest of us have. So using peptides, derivatives, and mixtures, he found a way to replace them with a drug he calls anti-neoplastins. Anti-neoplastins work on approximately 100 different genes which are causing cancer. After almost 40 years, the FDA is on board, giving him clearance to begin phase three clinical trials. You can call the halls here at the Brzezinski Clinic the halls of hope. Everywhere we went, it seemed success was contagious. Patients coming out of their room wanting to tell their stories, whether they're in treatment or already in remission. You would never know that the doctor they call their hero is a man who's been fighting the system for more than 35 years. Now the FDA is saying to me, no, your doctor is a criminal. He should be put in jail. The road here, perhaps tougher than the communist Poland Brzezinski once left. We are restricted because uh, the medical science so far in the United States was uh, educating the doctors to use the same treatment for everybody. In the 1990s, when U.S. laws changed and doctors could no longer treat patients with medicine they deemed beneficial, Brzezinski was indicted, facing more than 200 years in prison and millions of dollars in fines. In 1997, he was acquitted on all charges. Some in his own profession called Brzezinski a quack. It doesn't bother you that there are some... It doesn't bother me at all because we are saving hundreds of people's lives. We are seeing this every week. People whom everybody told no way to help you. His own patients have shown up doubting him. After all, chemo didn't work for Brian Ogden. I was still a pretty big skeptic. But that skepticism he and his wife once had didn't last long. My tumor has totally disappeared. Couldn't be found anywhere. Um, in my liver, which where, where it was originally, it's totally gone and they can't find any other signs of tumors in the rest of my body. Others here tell me Hope quickly replaced doubt. They've shown me completely to be cancer free. Just a few months after starting his treatment, Charlie is nearly clear of colon cancer. I feel positive uh, that I will carry on for another 20 years. As for Barbara Winkler's liver cancer. I've been on treatment for six months continuously and my tumor is reduced by 51 percent. Why aren't the rest of the doctors doing this? Oh, gradually, uh, they are joining the club, but uh, they are very shy. <laughs> some, uh, we have some of the most prominent oncologists in the country who are following patients at home. Brzezinski says soon they will go on the record.
the other side is becoming our side quickly and we'll be the same side in the next few years. The first sign you see in the door is where hope exists. And that's exactly what patients told me time and time again. They said their hope does exist. Now, we spoke to patients from every part of the world, from Dubai to Chicago. They swear by Dr. Brzezinski's methods. He was profiled in Suzanne Summers' latest book, Knockout, Curing Cancer. Now, as for the FDA, we did contact the FDA to ask for a comment about Dr. Brzezinski and those phase three clinical trials. But the spokesperson told us that she was aware of the trial, but not allowed to discuss it and discuss its success or potential issues it could have. Trials, they say, do not necessarily mean that a product works. It is only a stage to pave the way to a potential approval. Now, we couldn't get other oncologists around here or in any other part of the country to talk about Dr. Brzezinski's work, but I did speak earlier today with an oncologist about cancer